Here I have what I hope to be a fairly interesting video. I managed to get a, a cable modem and wireless router combo unit from my local thrift store for 30 bucks. Originally my father was saying that this would not work. I unboxed it to make sure it worked and then packed it back up so I can actually do this video in proper. Uh, when I actually opened this thing up, it looked to be brand new. Now the tape has actually been cut, so this thing was originally opened by the original owner, but the packaging and whatnot was basically brand new still. Still fully sealed and everything. So, I don't know what happened, but I now have what is essentially like a 200 something dollar modem for 30 bucks. Give me a second. Okay, scratch that, about 170. Though it's actually around a $230 modem if it's not on sale. So, this is a very expensive piece of uh, equipment and the fact that I managed to grab it for 30 bucks and that it actually works for what I wanted to do is even better. Especially considering the original wireless router I'm using for my room is this pile of shit right here. Now I reset it and changed out the password and whatnot and unfortunately I cannot remember it but uh, you pretty much see that this thing is a literal piece of garbage compared to what this thing is. This is supposed to be a full gigabit wireless router. And this thing right here, maximum download speed is like 10 megabytes a second compared to what this thing's gonna be able to produce. Now I actually haven't done a speed test or anything yet, hence why I'm actually doing this video and I actually wanna have something a little more interesting up on my channel than me just bitching about my broken computers or just bitching about something being busted in my life. So I thought, why not do a video like this, setting up this modem and actually truly testing it. Now I do have an actual wireless router that's a, a gigabit wireless router, but it's in my father's room and 5G really doesn't have the ability to go through walls and whatnot. And also I kind of want to have my own personal router, hence why I got this. So uh, with that said, let me get this thing set up and we'll do testing and whatnot and see what this thing can actually do. Again, I can't remember the password or not and whatnot for this thing, but again, you really don't need to see the speeds of that thing because you already know it's a pile of shit. So uh, yeah, I'll be right back. And might as well do a small unboxing. So like I said, I already did open this thing up to make sure it worked, but here's the actual router itself. The reason why my father thought it wasn't gonna work is because it has this little port right here. This is usually the actual main e ethernet port, but luckily I can plug in my ethernet cable into this and it'll still fully function as you'll see in a little bit. So move that out of the way. We got some more foam, we got some little packaging tape or foam packaging or whatever you call it. The power supply, instruction manual right here. And is there anything in here? No, there is not. So with that said, Again, $35, or not 35, but 30 bucks. So here's the actual modem itself. So I'll get this thing all set up and come back. I think the one thing that really uh, drove me to this particular router is the Intel badge on it. So since it's supposed to have something from Intel inside it, it should hopefully be a quality product. All right, took a little bit for it to fire up, but it's now fired up. One thing to note is that this is going to be constantly flashing because I have a not because I don't have coax attached to this thing, but wireless is showing on both ends. So all I gotta do now is connect my uh, laptop and we'll see what the actual performance is like. Hopefully it's going to be full gigabit, but either way, it's going to be significantly better than that little pile of shit I showed you earlier. All right, I have my laptop set up. This is the one with the Wi-Fi 6 card. I have the router up and running. All right, I have my only laptop with a Wi-Fi 6 capable card up and running. I have it connected to the uh, router. So let's run a speed test and see what we get. Nearly half a gig download. That's incredibly fast. 
Oh, now I had a now I had a half a gig. So for basically thirty dollars, I got myself a significant wireless router update. And since this is my personal wireless router, I could actually move all my wireless crap from the main house router to this. That way so I can reduce the load on the main house router and put all my personal crap onto mine, giving me well, better data throughput and better connectivity compared to our main house router that pulls double duty and whatnot. That way so this just does one thing and the house router does whatever. So uh, with that said, I guess the next thing for me to do is to properly button everything up and figure out where exactly I want to place this router because I really don't want to have it on top of my uh, computer here. I'm probably just going to make a little stand for it and just uh, duck and just hot glue the stand to the wall again. So I got to get some little foam board and build a stand and whatnot so I'll figure that out and come back. Alright, some time and effort and I made a little stand that I can hot glue to the wall. Now since this stand is significantly longer than the original one I made for the little shitty Wi-Fi router, I have these little string pieces here and they're going to act as a support to the front. That way so the weight of this actual router doesn't eventually cause this thing to just fall over and whatnot like that and just dump it all over my computer and whatnot. So once I actually get this thing properly mounted, I'll sh show you exactly how this thing works. I mean it's a stand, it's fairly simple to understand, but still. But I slightly over over engineered this thing but compared to doing a 3d print this thing probably took no more than maybe 30 minutes to build to compare it to like a 3d printer to build something like this probably like a day or two fuck 3d printers they're stupid all right this is more or less how it looks i got everything hot glued the way i need i have the little uh reinforcement strap things installed this one's a little more top than this one right here I'll probably add a little piece of uh, popsicle stick and press it like that to make it more taut. Just like this one right here. But generally speaking, it should hold nonetheless. The reason why I added these here is because this thing's so much heavier than the original router. That this is going to be putting quite a bit of weight downwards like this. And if I didn't add these, it will uh, it would actually most likely easily fall off within probably like a month or two above these here. It'll help support the actual weight and whatnot. Again, though, I am going to tie this one down a little bit more just by adding a little piece of uh, popsicle stick like right about there. It'll make it about as taut as this right here. But like I said, as of right now, everything is working. It's more or less set up to the way I want. I have the wire like this. I'll probably end up putting the wire somewhere over here because I really don't like how it's twisted like this. And I have my laptop here all set up. So let me get a speed test open and we'll see what the actual download rate or actual speeds and whatnot are. Alright, and time to see the speeds I get. I'm actually getting slightly better speed now. That's nice. And again, this is all wireless. I wasn't getting this speed with the old router I showed you before. I was like 100 megabytes or something like that. Now I'm getting basically 500, nearly 700 on the up. That's really, really nice. So I think what I want to do next is actually test a game by downloading it. Most likely Flight Sim 2020. So let me get that installed and I'll, we'll see what the actual download rate and whatnot is like. Alright, I used to change to War Thunder because I just remember Microsoft servers are hot garbage. So it looks like I'm getting about the same download speeds as my wired connection when it comes to this laptop. If anything, I'm getting, I am getting significantly better downloads than I was with the old uh, Wi-Fi router I was showing. I'm getting nearly 50 megabit. And that's really nice. It would be cool if I could actually push 100 megabytes. I might be able to do that if I swap out the MediaTek Wi-Fi card for an Intel Wi-Fi 6 uh, Wi-Fi card. That's an upgrade for later down the road. As of right now though, the MediaTek card does seem to be at least stable in my system compared to when it was in my gaming rig right there where it was constantly dropping left and right. 
So, I'm guessing maybe my gaming laptop was the reason why the MediaTek Wi-Fi card was hot ass. I don't know. But I still want to upgrade to an Intel Wi-Fi card. That way so I can get full utilization of my new router here. But, it seems like my new uh, router is in fact providing sin significantly better uh, download performance. I'm very happy with this $30 router. And I'm even more happy that I managed to get it actually functioning properly too. So with that said, I'm going to uh, tidy up this string here to make it more taut. And I'm just going to continue using my new router. I thought I'll show exactly how I uh, buttoned up the strings. Just two simple little pieces of popsicle sticks here and here with the uh, basically hot glue across them. And that's all that's really necessary to tie up both this string and this string here. And I know this is going to work because I have the exact same thing right here. But this string right here is going to my main room fan. My main room fan has an issue whenever it, fans, uh, whenever it spins up fully. It makes a very annoying click noise. So it gets really annoying either when I'm just trying to game and keep myself cool. Or trying to go to bed and have this fan constantly making a click noise. I've tried to balance the blades but, but to no avail. Reason being the actual uh, pole the fan sits on is incredibly long. So this thing has to be precisely balanced or else this click noise will never go away. And the way I resolved it was of course tying a piece of string and just hot gluing that piece of string to the wall right here. Giving just a little bit of force to the fan from going like this to like this. And that's all that's necessary to allow the fan to spool up properly without making that constant click noise. And this has been sitting here for like six, seven years. You can see the colorization from a brand new set of uh, of uh, jumbo popsicle sticks. This is something that's been hitting, that's been hit by the sun for six, seven years. It's it has uh, changed color and whatnot. But this does work. If it, if this thing here can work for six years on a fan that spins. At full speed, basically every single night for 12 something hours, if not 24 hours sometimes. It can easily handle just holding up maybe like a one pound Wi-Fi router. So with that said, that's more or less the video for my $30 Wi-Fi router I found at my local thrift store. And with that said, again, I'm very happy with it. I'm getting very, very fast speeds and the connection is very stable. Now most likely it will drop out. But of course like I said that is due to the MediaTek Wi-Fi card in this thing. And not this uh, Wi-Fi router. So with that said I'm going to now start the process of moving all my Wi-Fi uh, wi enabled devices to this right here. So like I said that's pretty much it for the video. Oh yeah the very last bit. Some of you may wonder most likely too are wondering why am I putting a Wi-Fi router on my wall up so high instead of just seeing it on my computer or putting it somewhere back here or even putting it over here. It's quite simple. I want to have this Wi-Fi router have the ability to actually get through the whole house and whatnot because most of the time I'm in my room but there are times when I'm out on the couch and since I'm going to be tying all my Wi-Fi enabled devices to this thing I want to be able to take something like my laptop, my cell phone, my tablet, and go from my room to the couch and still get good, still get a good Wi-Fi signal and still get decent download speeds. You gotta be very, you gotta be mindful when when it comes to actually uh, placing these Wi-Fi routers because if you put these things behind something, you can degrade the signal strength and how fast and how well the thing actually functions. Hence why I again built this thing originally. The original Wi-Fi or the original Wi-Fi router I showed you originally actually had it oops sorry. I had it mounted up here. I didn't go all the way up there because well this thing's so much bigger and the actual antennas are most likely somewhere up here anyway so I'll still get full signal all the way out in the living room more than likely. But uh, yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to uh, clear up. So with that said, that is now the end of the video.